Hi everyone, my name is Soumya and welcome back to IELTS Prep by Leap Scholar. I know that you all have clicked on this video because all of you want to move abroad, right? So in this video, I'll be telling you that with the help of IELTS, how you can do that, how you can actually end up landing in your dream country with the help of IELTS. So I'll be telling you everything step by step in this video. But for that, you have to stay with me till the end. So without any delays, let's get started. important step that you all have to follow is research and plan. You all have to research the country where you want to go. You all have to research about the universities there. Of course, you have to shortlist the course and for that you need counselling. So yes, here at Leap Scholar, we give you free counselling. What are you waiting for? Book your counselling slots now. Now, when you have shortlisted the colleges where you want to go and um, where you want to apply basically, after that, what you have to do is take your IELTS test and prepare for that. So there are two types of IELTS, general and academic. So there is not much difference between both of these. If you are planning to move to abroad for your further studies, in that case, you have to take your academic IELTS test. If you are planning to move abroad um, for migration purposes or in search of jobs, in that case, you have to take your general IELTS test. Now, the next step is you have to prepare for that. Preparation is very, very important. IELTS test has four modules. Listening, reading, writing and speaking. And of course, while preparing for IELTS, you need to have an aim in your mind. You need to have a band score that you want to achieve, basically a target. That also depends from university to university. Some colleges and universities demand minimum six bands, some demand seven some actually demand an 8 band. So you have to research properly about your college or university. So now, once you have completely prepared for IELTS, you are confident, you are ready to take your test. The next step is you have to book your IELTS test day. In that, IDP can help you. So on Google, you can search for book IELTS IDP. Click on the first link that you will see. So the first step would be you have to select the test type. You can go for a CBT which means computer based test or PBT which means paper delivered test. And now select the test module, general or academic. And after that you have to select the city. So just select the city where you want to take your IELTS test. I will be selecting New Delhi Centre Rajori Garden. Once you select this, click on book now. After clicking on book now, you will be seeing a calendar. So the green ones are the available dates. I'll click on 29th. There you will be seeing all the available time slots. 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Then 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Then 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can go for any suitable time slot. Similarly, you can click on some other available date. Like on 30th, you will be seeing the available time slot. Now you have to finalize the time slot. Once you have finalized it, you will be seeing the details here. For example, the test date, the test type, the test format and the price that you have to pay. Now, once you are satisfied with everything, click on book now. It will show you a privacy policy, accept that and it will take you to the next page. Here you have to fill in your personal details. To book IELTS test, it's mandatory to have a passport because you will have to write your passport number there in the column. Select the date of birth and after filling everything, click on proceed. Since I have not filled my all the details, I will not be able to move to the next page. But here on the top, you can see what all you will need to fill. You will have to fill your registration details, then you have to upload your documents, then RO details, review everything and finally you have to make the payment. Once you have made the payment of 14,700 rupees, you will get a confirmation email with your IELTS test center and the timings. So that's the process. Um, IELTS test would cost you around 14,000 to 15,000 rupees. And of course, here at LEAP, we actually try, we actually help our students to crack their IELTS in the first attempt because IELTS exam is very costly and we don't want all of you to give it again. So yes, prepare well. And if you have your exam coming soon, all the best for that. So if you have taken your CBT test, basically the computer based test, you will be getting the TRF, the test report form within 7 days. But if you have taken, if you have appeared for PBT, which is the paper based test, 
I think it takes around 20 to 21 days for you to get the result. So it's always advisable to go for computer based tests but the difficulty level and everything would be more or less the same. Now, once you have received your results, basically your band score, what are you waiting for? Now is the time for you to apply to the colleges that you shortlisted in the first step. Um, the application forms you will be getting on the website of the college and you just have to pay the application fee. Some colleges will be having an application fee, whereas some colleges will not have any fee. That also depends upon college to college and university to university. After you have applied, you will be getting an offer letter after 15 to 30 days. That also depends upon which college you are applying to. So after receiving the offer letter, you have to check if it's unconditional or conditional. So if it's an unconditional offer letter, then yes, it's the final one. But if it's a conditional offer letter, in that case, you have to follow, you have to fulfill all the conditions that will be mentioned over there. And after that, you will be receiving your unconditional offer letter again. So after that, once you have received your offer letter, you are good to go. You have to make the fee payment. Now, there are two options for you. You can go for loans, you can apply for loans if you cannot afford it. But if you can afford it, you can definitely pay the fee on your own. There are many um, banks that can help you with the loan process. There are many government banks with very low interest rates. With that, there are many companies like Avance, there is Credila, HDFC Credila that can also help you with the loan process. So you can apply, you can go to um, any of these companies or any of the banks and yes, they'll definitely help you with the loans. And once you have received the loan, once the loan is sanctioned to you, after that you have to make the fee payment. So now, there are two options for you. You can go to the website Flywire. By registering there on that website, you just have to add your Indian account number and yes, the transaction will be made using that account and Flywire website will directly transfer all your funds, basically the fee to the bank account of your college or university. The next option is you can pay directly to the college using your credit card. But most of the students find it expensive, so they go to the Flywire website to make their fee payment. Once you have made the fee payment, you will be receiving a receipt like we always receive in an online transaction. And after that, the next step would be paying your GIC. The GIC amount depends upon country to country. For Canada, it's $10,000, which would be around 7 to 8 lakh rupees. And yes, GIC is basically returnable. So you are paying this amount to the government of that particular country for your security only. Because some amount of this GIC amount will be sent to you every month by the government of that country. So for example, you land to the country where you want to be and you do not have any part-time job in the first month. So government of that country makes sure that student survives there and it will transfer some amount of the GIC that you have paid to the government so that you can actually meet your basic needs. So yes, that's the basic use of the GIC and you will be getting all the amount back. The next step would be your medical. So once your medical is done, the next step and the most important step is visa filing. Now you have to file your visa. For visa filing, you have to pay around 14 to 15,000 rupees again, but that would include your biometric fee as well. Now, after filing visa, you have to book a date for your biometric. Once your biometric is done, it will be updated on the portal on the same day or it can also take some time to get updated. So once the data for your biometric is updated on the portal, you will be getting a passport request, which means PPR. You have to send your passport to the biometric office for stamping. It will get stamped. Um, you have filed your visa, you have received your visa and yes, it's the time for you to book your tickets. Once your tickets are booked, you are good to go. So that's the whole process. I know it sounds super complicated, but don't worry. Once you will enter it, you'll find it smooth. You'll find it easy and you will be able to make it to the last step. So yes, I hope you've understood everything from the beginning till the end and yes moving abroad is not easy because there is a lot that you have to take care of but yes when Leap Scholar is here there is no fear because we have got it all sorted we'll help you with everything from taking your IELTS test to helping you move abroad you don't have to worry about anything you can 
believe every single point us you just need to contact us i am sharing all the links below in the description box and yes that's it for today i hope you've enjoyed the videos and if you have any questions feel free to ask us in the comment section below and yes do share this video with someone who actually need it and yes thank you so much everyone for watching this video till here i'll be back with more such informative videos for all of you thanks a lot bye bye